Hello, this is Jeff Malone, The Ex is Silent, here with the quick version of my thoughts on Lana Del Rey's appearance as musical guest on the January 14th, 2012 episode of Saturday Night Live. I don't think Lana was as bad as a lot of people have said she was. I thought she was more just memorably bizarre. She wasn't as bad as, say, Bon Jovi back in 2009, who we all expect to be bad. They were bad. Not bizarrely so. Nothing really was said about it, and we all moved on. I also don't think she, Lana was as bad as SNL musical guest bombs, such as the Rolling Stones back in 1978, when Mick Jagger clearly had a cold or something, and sounded particularly phlegmatic as he struggled to get through their performances. Or Laura Branigan in 1982, who also appeared to have a cold or something, and struggled to get through the high notes of her hit song, Gloria, and her voice actually cracked during one of the choruses. Lana certainly wasn't also as bad as the crown jewel of SNL musical guest bombs, Ashley Simpson, in 2004, and who could forget her having her lip-syncing revealed, which led to her doing a little jig right before she ran off the stage. A more apt comparison to Lana Del Rey would be Kesha back in 2010, who had one of the most bizarre performances in SNL history, but it was clearly meant to be as bizarre as it was. Lana Del Rey is a strange bird, and I'm actually have wondered if her performances were meant to be just as bizarre as they ended up being. Ultimately, I think the best SNL musical guest comparison for Lana Del Rey would be Joe Cocker, who had one of the most unusual stage presences in music history, what with his herky-jerky arm movements and wild facial contortions, which bring to mind Lana's twirling and hair pulling during her performances. And a lot of people compare, thought that Lana's appearances were actually a Kristen Wiig character, which brings to mind the fact that Joe Cocker was memorably portrayed by John Belushi right alongside him during his appearance. And that's the way it is.